chilly day here in Chicago fall is starting to come so I have to figure out something to make and I just couldn't figure it out I had two options Chinese or Mexican so I was like what if both of them met each other fell in love swipe right and had a baby what would it look like can you make something that's a fusion of both so here we go I'm gonna try to make something right now so I went in my fridge and I found some grilled chicken thighs so I think what I'm gonna do is use this as my protein base. So I'm gonna grab about maybe one of these, which is about four ounces. Slice it up nice and thin. The great thing about chicken thighs is it retains its moisture really well. So whatever you use it for, it's gonna be perfect because the moisture will be there. It won't over dry like a chicken breast would. Of course, you need a little bit of sweetness, so some red onion. So all I'm going to do is, as you can see, mine's already been cut this way, this way. So I'm going to take some small dices out of it. Just about that much. Next, I'm going to take a green onion. Now you might be wondering why two onions. Well, I guess two onions are better than one. With this one, I'm going to slice it long ways like this or on a bias. That way it gives it a nice little presentation. So these are the ingredients I'm going to work with. So a little bit of chicken thigh, red onion, and green onion. Now, what can we make with this? You might be wondering. Well, one thing that all Mexicans love are quesadillas. So what if we took this chicken and made it into like a teriyaki chicken, but in a quesadilla? So a teriyaki chicken quesadilla. Sounds good. Let's see how it works out. So we're gonna move over to our stove, turn our saute pan on to about medium. Of course, as always, a little bit of fat, extra virgin olive oil to be exact. I'm gonna take my onion first to get the sweetness out of it, cook it nice and slow. I'm gonna season that with a little bit of kosher salt, a little bit of black pepper. At this point, I'm gonna add my chicken. It's nicely cooked already. Since the chicken's cooked, all you gotta do is just basically bring it up to heat. I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. A little bit of teriyaki. I'm gonna let this cook down to produce like a nice little glaze on the chicken. At this point, I'm gonna add my green onions and just toss them around a little bit. You can see how the teriyaki gives it a nice little glaze of course, for any quesadilla, you need a tortilla. So I'm gonna use a whole wheat tortilla to try to keep it a little bit light and a little bit healthy, I guess. It's a Mexican treaded cheese, about two ounces. What we're gonna do, take the two ounces of cheese, put it on the bottom half of your tortilla. You're gonna find out why in a little second. That's a trick. That way you don't have to use two tortillas, just use one. So that helps you keep your carbs down. Next, we're gonna bring our chicken over from the stove we're using a rubber spatula as always to help you grab all the nice ingredients. That way you don't leave it there because as always you paid for it. So you might as well enjoy it. Now we're gonna take our hands, spread this out nicely. Take it and fold it right in half, just like that. Now we're gonna move over to our skillet and brown it on both sides.
pushing down on it to make sure that the cheese and everything melts nice and evenly. We're gonna let that brown for about, I don't know, maybe three minutes on each side. For your tongs, you're gonna check it to see how it's browning on the bottom. Still not ready. So that's how you check to see. What you're looking for is a nice golden brown color. So just take your time, push them down, and check in every once in a while. Okay, at this point, we're gonna take it nicely, just be careful of it, and flip it over. If a piece of chicken falls out, no problem, just tuck it back in. Again, pat it down. And repeat the process on both sides. All right, so now it's done. We're gonna take it from there, bring it here, and start playing with it. So again, use your tongs, that way you don't burn yourself. We're gonna take a nice sharp knife, cut down the middle, right in half. Again, in half, so basically four pieces. We're gonna make our presentation. So what we're gonna do is take it like this. Next, we're gonna take a little bit of scallions or green onions, slice them long ways. Drop them right on top. To add some color. And there you go. So that's an easy um, teriyaki chicken quesadilla. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. Sometimes all you gotta do is just go through your fridge and see what you got and just try to be a little bit creative. So don't worry about selling just for one. You don't have to go just Chinese or Asian or Mexican. You can have both. Always try to figure out something you can do to make it a little bit different. As always, love you guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell to receive reminders for future videos. Leave me any suggestions for future content you wanna see. Till next time, love you guys, bye.